Hello, in this video we see how to export 2ds Max data into SketchUp and do Sun analysis. So in 3ds Max we have an existing model which is somewhat of a city or a town model. Let us select that. Either you can select like this or just individual selection is also fine. So for now let's select it and go to files and find export. You have two options. As we have selected the model, let's go to export selected. And then as we're exporting it to SketchUp, we need either SketchUp format or DWG. Only those two are compatible. So let's select AutoCAD DWG and then name it as some analysis for SketchUp. And save. Okay. Now let's open SketchUp. In the same way, go to files, import, find the CAD file, DWG file, in case you don't find it. Go to types format and set as DWG. You should be able to find all the files. Import it. You, you see how many blocks and layers are imported. Now this is a model that's imported. Right now you get to see the basic shadow because by default I had the shadow on let's switch it off for now okay so this is the default mode of how it looks once exported now to add sun or to get the shadows let's add we need three different tools one is go to your extensions extension warehouse and then you search up curic sun this is a small plugin for SketchUp where you get to, it's free. So in this you can analyze the existing sun according to the geolocation and install that. I have it downloaded once you install. Again, click here and select the Curic Sun. So it comes on top of your toolbar. So this is one tool that we need. And then this shadow, we got it. In case you don't have, again, right click on the toolbar, select shadows. And you get this the next one is the geolocation so again right click on the toolbar and then find locations yes so now we have location we have shadow and we have sun now click on geolocation and then this takes you to a google map or open street map you either get a satellite image or a street map let's keep it simple so let's select the street map option okay just for the explanation let's just select this one select region you get the portrait uh, on any flexible size you can select let's keep it simple and now import it you see the exact place is uh, created on the map you cannot move this one you as you see once you select it shows red that means it's locked by default you can't change the location of it now let's just try to let's okay now the ball that's in uh, imported is in one block to edit or get into that block double click on that and you get to go inside that block and you can select each and every edge and surface so let's select this and delete now just the surface or just the buildings we have let's try to place this in some corner select the object and press m or go to the tool move here and then let's try to place it somewhere here okay so now this is our streets and let's go here and switch on the shadows so by default it takes up the particular location that we have geotagged here and then shadow appears if you want to further control the time and the sun it is here you can still alter the time uh, of the sun including the entire year you get here now going in particular with now we don't know if this is the real time sun or not this is just giving shadows so for that we go to cure uh, curic sun 
the first option is similar to sh this one it's basically showing shadows or switching on shadows on and off and we're using the second one show some To select the minute you select second uh, second sun you get this tabular column which shows the exact sun path location with azimuth and uh, the entire technical analysis of it so that's how it looks the arch or the the path of sun appears like this we have doom size time step doom size is the area in which the arch shows by default it comes in this particular way and it's centered to one particular point now we want to get this point to our side uh, our area so go to this point which is select sun click anywhere in your area that you need and it comes here and you can increase according to your visual preference Let's set it at this area and then let's set the month. If you see it, it should. Okay, it's something like this. Let's say this is between 7th month to 12th. This is the band in which the sun would go. Let's keep it for the whole year. So, yeah, this is how the entire. <coughs> month entire years uh this is the sun a uh, location sun track for this site in case let's say we want it for uh, the month 8th to december and then in the particular hour let's say from nine o'clock to just for this much in that way you get the bandwidth of the sun crossing across even if you hover over this area it shows at the corners at what hour and what a time it's coming across in this grid so that's how exact uh, data you get in this one in case you don't want the dome to be visualized in this scenario you can just hide it the sun the shadow still is there if you want you can still keep it but that's how you control the exact sun path it takes every day and then you can control it based on the hour that you need uh, you can change this north angle based on your site location if you can still maybe change it but the sun azimuth and sun altitude cannot be changed that's default set by the geolocation so that's how you uh, get or treat the sun analysis on the designated area Thank you for watching.